Hey guys, it's Tana. I'm making this video on my new vlog channel because I'm going to be doing all of my editing and how-to videos on this channel along with like vlogs and the normal stuff. Um, my life's not that interesting right now, but I am planning on moving soon and moving vlogs would be so fun. So give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for what is to come on this channel. But today I wanted to do the Pick Monkey tutorial because I did the YouTube tips video and all of you guys were um, asking for the thumbnail video, like I said. So what I do is I use PicMonkey for my thumbnails, so just go to PicMonkey.com and I actually use the Royal membership. So you can get a Royal membership for free for just a week just to try it out. So if you want to try out these techniques and see if you actually like it, it's $4.99. Um, I think it's worth. It's so worth it. If you're doing YouTube and you're serious about it, try to get the premium membership because it, this is a really great site to use. So what I do if I'm going to make a um, thumbnail for my videos, I will just go to the collage portion and select any photos that I want to use in my collage so I'm going to be selecting some photos and uh, usually what I do is I take screenshots from my videos just to make it a lot easier um, and quicker so if that's one way you want to do it you can do it that way or just take pictures so right here it starts you off with this blank canvas with like three little compartments and the dimensions so so go ahead and click right here on the layouts button you can choose any layout you want really um, just depending on your preferences some of them are the royal and you will know if they're royal if they have a little crown on them but what I do is I usually go to jigsaw and I usually select the first or second one it really depends on what I'm doing um, but yeah so I just select one of those and then the next thing you're gonna want to do is change your dimensions down here at the bottom so what I change it to this is the size for YouTube th thumbnails this is 1280 and then you click enter and then you're gonna want to click here click the lock delete the number and type in 720 because if you do it the other way it just changes the whole um, sizing and it, but yeah so change that to 720 and then what I like to do here is go to this little paint icon and then change the spacing right here is where you get how big your borders want to be you can do no border you can do like a tiny border I usually leave it around this size you can even do bigger like just it gives you a lot of um, room to work with so then I just gonna pick my border I, you can pick the color of your border here. I usually don't pick that till the end though So I will show you guys at the end. I just want to show you guys real quick the photo that I'm gonna be going off of So this is a thumbnail that I would normally do um, It just has a few compartments in it. It has some words and it has some pictures So just keep that in mind for the whole time that this is the thumbnail we're kind of emulating So now that you have all of your photos in here, we're gonna start adding them to the collage This is a very simple portion to do you just add your pictures on and then you are set so here i'm just adding a couple different pictures whichever ones you choose okay so um, i'm not going to use this bottom row because i don't have enough photos so you can always delete cells or add them um, the way that you add them is you can click on a photo and you can drag it over and it'll bring up that little blue uh, box and that's where you can drop it at so if you want to get rid of that just go ahead and remove it you can also change the size of these little things um, or remove them completely. So what I want to do, I want to make my bed pretty big and then these photos kind of you can switch them around, you can change them. So what I do next, since I did take them from screenshots, so as you can see here, this is just a screenshot. I go ahead and edit and go to effects. Now this is a premium feature as you can see by the crown, but if you don't have the premium, you can always just edit your pictures before you put them into the collage. So it's not even a big deal. So then I'm just going to open an Im image editor and then click crop. And then I just take it and crop it out. And like I said, you can do this beforehand. The only thing is that it's kind of time consuming since I take a lot of screenshots. So I just prefer to do it this way. So there's that. And also you can change the color, you can sharpen, you can do anything in this one. I usually add a little bit of saturation and um, take the temperature down a little bit because it makes me kind of like orangey. Um, but you want your thumbnails to be bright and a lot of you guys have commented on how bright they are. So I just up the saturation. It's not even that hard. And then I go back to the collage and it will bring me up the picture that I just edited without the borders that I just cropped. So that's how you do that portion of it. PicMonkey is really a great site if you're like a beginner. It's so easy to get the hang of and they've added so many more features and I will show you that next when I talk about how to add text and things like that because that's really important too if you're making thumbnails and you want your pictures to stand out. Also if you guys do have any specific questions um, for things that like I'm not answering for you if you guys have any other questions then just go ahead and leave them in a comment below and I will definitely answer those 
Okay, so here I am, I'm all done. And remember here, we were using this photo to go off of. So I added the bed, I added me, the coffee, they're all in different spaces, but it doesn't matter. So once I have that, I'm gonna go back, and this is when I decide to add my color because you can kind of tell with which pictures you're using, which one's gonna brighten it up the most. So the most used colors for me are yellow, I use blue a lot, I use it like way too much, hot pinks, reds, peaches, but I think I'm gonna go for a yellow on this one because I think it makes it look really bright and nice. So yeah, you, I just save it in the biggest file size because I want it to be good quality for YouTube. And then I'm just going to save it in PicMonkey and then I'm gonna hit save. So next, this is the second part. You can leave your thumbnail like this if you don't wanna add text, but what I'm gonna do is re-go to PicMonkey and then I'm gonna choose another photo to edit. But this time that photo is going to be the collage that we just made the first time. So um, there's obviously the same sort of features. Um, just kind of get yourself acquainted with all the stuff. In here, there's many different things. Like there's a bunch of like effects filters and a bunch of stuff like that. So just go ahead and get to know PicMonkey. I'm gonna go ahead and click the text button because we're gonna add some text right now. And I will tell you all the rest later. So this one's like where you crop and stuff. It's where you can add filters. There's like a, this, the text always takes forever to load because they added a feature where you can use your own text, which is like a godsend. So um, yeah, so whatever fonts you have installed on your computer, a couple of my fonts, Praying Angel, Market Deco, Impact Label, I get all my fonts from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T, and you can just download them right to your computer and they will show up here in PicMonkey. So they also have their own and you can choose from there if you'd like, but I prefer to use my own sometimes and just because, you know, before I had to take it out from PicMonkey and bring it to Photoshop, but now I just do it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text here and this is my night routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text and you can uh, highlight it and change the color of it if you want. You can change the size, make it bigger or smaller, um, drag it wherever you want. Sometimes if you wanna position your fonts, I just do each word on its own, just because it sometimes it makes it easier if I want to put more than one word and I want it to be in a different spot. So yeah, just go ahead and find your font. So that first font was Market Deco. So now you have your font, but it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of on different colors and stuff. So the question a lot of people have is how you do the like blurry, like brightness behind the text. So basically I'm gonna go to this little magic wand over here. I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom and there's this tab called draw in the artsy section. So go ahead and click on that. And first off, it's gonna be set like this with the hardness all the way up. So if you tried to draw, it would look like that and you don't want that. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is change the hardness and bring, I bring that all the way down to the bottom and then you can change your brush size if you want. So I like to go down here and bring up the zoom and then I like to add it behind there just to get a more clean look to it, to kind of go around the letters. And then you can always zoom back out. And then this just, this works on anything. So this is a really good handy thing to know because you can make your thumbnails look so much more professional, so much better. And it's just so much easier to see because you want people to be able to see your thumbnail and be like, ooh, that looks pretty. And then click on it. Cause that's what thumbnails are for. It's like judging a book by its cover, but like the accepted way. So here's that is, then you just go ahead and click apply. So that's how it looks with, let me see, let me zoom you out a little bit more. So that's how it looks with these stuff around the back. And you can leave it like that. I like it just like that. But what I like to do sometimes is add overlays. So that's the little butterfly icon right here. You can add little hearts. This is a premium feature um, just for these style of hearts. Some of the styles aren't premium. Like you could just add a simple heart. Um, but let's see, I wanna add, so I wanna add like a star or something. So see how some of them are royal. I keep on repeating myself, but uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna choose a star and you can you can choose these and place them wherever you want. Change the color and everything. Like pretty much do anything you want. Rotate them. So you can choose pretty much anything. And then what you can do with the overlays as well is add your own overlay. So you can just go to your computer, select a download. I mean, I don't have any moons right now, but uh, you could just select one of them 
bring it over here and put it next to like summer uh yeah so that's pretty much it there's a ton of little overlays ton of really really cute ones i use a lot of these the ones that i use a lot too are these banners down here this is where everyone finds those little banners like that you can put like dots around things and make it like that so make it look cute whatever you know you'll have more time to do this so it won't look as bad but yeah so you can always change the color of these two which is great uh, make it blue and then if you want to send things behind text you're just going to go ahead and click send to back and the only thing is it's not going to show the um back there where it has the shading that we just did it's not going to show that so just keep that in mind if you want to use one of these little frame thingies after after i'm done with that adding stuff you can also go ahead and draw behind the stars just take it down a notch and then kind of brighten those up a little bit but yeah so that's how i make a thumbnail for an average video like i said in the beginning if you do have any questions i can always answer those um, or just do another tutorial on something that you guys request. So make sure you're specific in your comments so I know what to do and what to show you guys. But um, I'm going to be definitely doing an editing video for my videos because a lot of you guys have requested that too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.